Have you been prescribed a statin for high cholesterol levels? Are you reluctant to take it because of side effects? If you do decide to take a statin, which one is the safest? Let's talk a little bit about heart disease. According to the CDC, about 697,000 people died from heart disease in 2020. That represents one death every 34 seconds. What are the risk factors of heart disease? Well, the big ones are hypertension, smoking, and high cholesterol. Other risk factors include an unhealthy diet, alcohol abuse, a sedentary lifestyle, obesity, and diabetes. So if we know that high cholesterol is one of the main risk factors of dying from heart disease, will a statin save lives? And the quick answer to this question is yes, they will. And how do we know this? There was a study called the West of Scotland Coronary Prevention Study, or WASCOPS. And this was a large study and spanned many years. In this study, there were 6,595 men who had an average age of 55. Their average cholesterol levels were 272, which of course is high, and their average LDL level was 192, which is also high. We like to keep total cholesterol below 200 and LDL below 160. These subjects were randomly placed in two different groups. One group got pravastatin, 40 milligrams per day for five years. And the other group got placebo every day for five years. So what were the results of this study? The primary endpoints of this study were death from cardiovascular disease and non-fatal myocardial infarction or heart attacks. Over five years, the subjects that got pravastatin had about a 25% less chance of dying from cardiovascular disease or having a non-fatal MI than those in the placebo group. And what was even more impressive is these patients were followed for 20 years and the pravastatin group after those 20 years still had a 25% less chance of dying from cardiovascular disease or having a non-fatal heart attack. It's also important to know that there was no increase in cancer found in the pravastatin group. It should be pointed out that there's limitations to studies like this. First of all, we don't know for sure whether the patients in the pravastatin group after the five-year period were taking supplements to decrease their cholesterol or possibly they were on other statins. And we also don't know whether some of the people in these groups started smoking or had other less than ideal health habits, right? We, we don't know that, but we do know that 25% less of them had the negative outcomes that we were searching for in the study. It's clear that statins have side effects. We know they do. They can increase your blood sugar. They can increase your liver enzymes and they can cause muscle pain. We know this, but we also know from this study and others that they can also save lives. So just with any other drug, this is a risk versus benefit type of thing, right? I mean, we want to know what is the risk and what is the benefit. There are risks, but clearly there's also benefits. So in my professional opinion, and probably why you're watching this video, the two statins I would recommend are pravastatin, which is the drug that was in this study, and simvastatin. They are shown to have less side effects and Part of the reason for this is because depending on dosages, they're low intensity and moderate intensity. The drugs that are the moderate and high intensity drugs would be atorvastatin and rosuvastatin. Those drugs will decrease your cholesterol more, but they also have more side effects. If you aren't sure whether or not you should be taking a statin, please watch my video. And if you'd like to use 
natural supplements to decrease your cholesterol. I did a video on that too. I will put links to both of those videos in the description section of this video for you to watch. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments that are going to say yes, but it's all about inflammation. And inflammation does cause problems within our body, not just heart problems, but all kinds of problems, and this is true. And if you can eat a Mediterranean-style diet and stick to it, and keep your cholesterol levels low, that's always the best practice. But the problem is most people just won't do it. They are stuck in the habits that they have and they're not willing to change it. People think that if they go through a drive-through and get dinner that way instead of cooking it for themselves, that they will be less tired and they can spend more time relaxing when in reality, if they cook their own food with whole foods that are healthy for their body, they'll have more energy anyway. Remember the five pillars of health. It's very important to stick to those. So as a pharmacist and someone who's worked in hospitals for decades, I believe the risk from dying from heart disease is greater than the side effects you will get from simvastatin and pravastatin. I have not seen any reliable data saying that statins cause dementia. We already know that they do have side effects and some people probably won't be able to tolerate them. But I don't think you should be scared to take them. If you know somebody who's thinking about taking a statin, who's already taken a statin, is scared to take a statin, please send this video to them. I appreciate any comments left in the comment sections of this video. I will read them all. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel for more happy, healthy living information. My name is Pharmacist Michael. Be happy and be healthy.